Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Aries the Emperor here, back with another general reading for the Aries Collective. If you are new here, welcome. This is an all Aries channel for all Aries placements. Cross watchers are welcome as well. Just take in mind this reading may or may not resonate with everyone. So just simply take what does, leave what does not. Place the gender roles where they need to be for you. This is energy. Energy is all fluid. Um, I know you guys are probably shocked to see me today, um, being it is Sunday. I felt a nudge uh, from spirit. It's whispering in my ear, um, just telling me to come on here and do an energy check um, and to let you in on a little secret or this secret is for you collective. So let's jump in and see. We have the sun is what you don't see at the bottom of the deck as we are in Leo energy, uh, Leo season at this time here, okay? And Venus being retrograded into Leo at this time. How's it been out there for you guys? Interesting? <laughs> as soon as I say interesting, look, the devil right next to the sun. Ain't that something? Yikes. I hope that's not a part of your secret, but let's jump in and see what messages spirit has for you. Um, and if you'd like to shop, I've been getting questions about the candles. The candles are posted on my website, which is if you click the arrow down below, um, just click on the, the link www.ariesemperor.com. My readings and all of my products are there. Candles, oils, soaps. Okay. So as well as if you would like to join to become an exclusive member, that information is down below as well. Okay. So just click on it guys. And for custom orders, just send me an email. All right. So the first card to pop out is the seven of swords, Aquarius energy. All right. Let me let you in on a little secret Aries. All right, they're trying to sneak away with your secret sauce, baby, with your secret formula. And I don't remember you giving out the recipe or anybody being there when you were creating it and mixing it and fucking up the kitchen over and over until you got it right, you know. Until you get it right. This time we got a good love. You headed to the Ten of Pentacles. All right, let me let you in on a little secret, friend. And the Emperor, you win in the end. I love this spirit. All right, thank you for the confirmation here. That's what you need to realize and that's what you need to understand. All right, let me let you in on a little secret. All right, everybody not your friend and everybody don't like you. This is Aquarius energy, which um, symbolizes associations, organizations, groups, friend circles, who you socially connected with. Um, this is very well that, you know, these energies are very well, very much detached, um, or this is you, you know, or if not, this is the energy that you need to be, um, trying to borrow from, um, in some way, shape or form here, because this is deceit, theft, scamming, cheating all around you here, you know, and you could be the light, you know, you are the light because clearly the 10 of pentacles, what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. Um, let me let you in on a little secret. You know, you favored highly here. Uh, this is wealth and blessings upon your name that you created that are taking you into your latter years here. This is a, a tradition that you're building regardless of um, what somebody has to say about it or, or how they turn a, their damn nose up at it. It's none of their goddamn business what you got going on. Just know that what you building is something solid. You know, just as solid as anybody else building anything else around you. And I do feel like there is a small crowd around you and it's gaining momentum. But for the right reasons here, um, you just need to continue to stand in that energy. Like I mentioned here and that secret, I just let you in on that Everybody ain't your friend and some. Okay. What other messages, spirit? This isn't going to be a long reading. <laughs> the world. If I rule the world, the world collective. What did I just say? You are highly favored. You have the ability to touch masses in some way, shape or form here. 
Um, and the nine of swords, I mean, like I mentioned here, everybody ain't your friend and they not happy about what you got going on. They would like to see you in financial ruins, um, in a mental prison here, losing sleep at night, uh, versus, you know, getting a good night's rest and being able to get out there and, and be able to chase your dreams and actually achieve them, you know, and have the stamina to do that. Um, and you're being introduced to something like you have gone through your karmic cycles. All right. Let me let you in on that secret here. You've been through it and you came out of it. Now it's time for you to start living on the other side of it. You know, I free all my sons. I love them, love them, baby. I love that song. I haven't heard that song in so long. What other messages? I love Lauren Hill. All right. Secrets out, collective. <laughs> Ain't no more bread coming, bitch. You're going to have to come harder than this. All right. Immaturity, check. It's a red flag. All right. And we don't collect those over here, okay? Only green flags. All right. Let me let you in on that secret. Ace of Swords, spirit comfort, um, confirming that, that you are the truth here and stay that, all right? That's what's going to put you out there. That's what makes you unique, all right? Nine of Wands, Sagittarius energy, putting you out there, gaining an audience here, regardless, or not just to say gaining an audience, but just whatever it is that you feel like your life's purpose is, you know, you got to put yourself out there in some way, shape or form here. And like I mentioned, I feel like somebody could already be doing that in some way. Um, but let me get a few more to clarify. It wanted to come out. That's the temperance. Two of Wands, Aries energy. The world is in this man's hand. Double confirmation for me. And it's Aries energy. You know, let me let you in on a secret here. Your potential is great. You know, thank you, Spirit, for confirming. And more great than you know here, okay? And that's all you need to worry about is fulfilling that, your purpose, you know, not someone else's. And if others gravitate towards you because of that, then kudos, you know? But you are working this journey, walking this journey, and for a lot of us, it is alone. You know, the Knight of Cups is what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. You know, let me let you in on a little secret. It may get lonely down this path and it's lonely at the top for a reason here. But you, the secret is out. You have the path. You have the green light. You have the 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 wherewithal, you know, the re, you're building the resources here. Or you, your potential alone is threatening just to see how far you could actually go with something or where you could go with it. Or how mentally sharp you are at something or just quicker than others or you just seem to do something in a way that the death card, it can't be duplicated. When you leave, that's gonna leave with you because that's how cold you are at it. And that's how hard spirit stamps you. God stamped it on you. After you, it's the end of an era. And that's why you need to live now accordingly. Confirmation. They tear me up. I'm, I'm working. We talking to spirit right now. This is deep. You are deep. There's been a lot of pain, a lot of letting go, a lot of starting over. I'm getting starting points, like beginnings. But like I mentioned before this death card even came out, this is the last beginning. To you stepping on the other side and living in the death card hadn't even come out yet. 
but it's here now to confirm everything I've been saying. Right after you pull the, the two of wands, which is Aries energy. Four of swords, you know, hang tight. You see that sun beaming in on that dark room? Anytime they try and put you in unrest, ten of pentacles, you still coming out in the end as the best. So just forget what's going on around you. Like I said, you know, sometimes you got to zone out so you can tap the fuck in. Moon energy is what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. Let me let you in on a little secret. This is what this card represents. Thank you, spirit. Secrets. Illusions. Deception. And you using this, your intuition, to blow all of that shit back. So you can keep building your pinnacle one right after another until you get to that 10. And I say this reading wasn't going to be long. Give me a few more spirit and we're going to close the, the reading out. The Ace of Wands was flipped over here. Big Aries energy. <laughs> Reach out and touch somebody's hand. Make this world a better place if you can. Y'all are button in on my Sunday for real. But I'm here for it. Hit that like button, okay? And that subscribe button. It's free to show a little love today because I'm feeling it. And I'm feeling this for somebody out here. You deserve this. Knight of Cups. Look at all those hearts flowing out of that cup. You deserve this. You know, look at the joy on this person's face riding this horse. It's just sometimes it's so fucking simple to experience the joy. But guess what? It's this 3D out here, you know, that makes it, soups it up. It makes it more complicated. It makes you think you got to have this, that, and the third, you know, just to have some type of satisfaction out of this lifetime. And I don't see that. I don't see that for you here, being confused. Give me one more spirit. Just beware, you know, you have manipulation all around you here. Whatever it is you got, baby, you can't uh, bottle it up and sell it, you know. It can only come from you, the source. And the secret is out, collective. So make sure you keep it. King of Swords. Aquarius energy, Aquarius, Gemini, uh, Libra energy. This is thinking intellectually, logically over emotionally here. Okay. This is mental clarity, authority. This is a poker face here. This is, you could be exuding this at this time. Nine of cups, Virgo energy. This is amassing, you know, some type of abundance, some type of wealth. And this is graduating, maturing to some type of maturity success as well here. The queen of pentacles is someone that's like a total package. Um, this is somebody who is very practical and grounded, um, especially in their emotions as well here, coupled with. You could have earth and water aspected in your natal chart here, but you're being looked at as someone who is a go-to. You know, the secret's out. Your status could be elevating at this time. And, or like I mentioned, your opinion, you're coming off more fulfilling and more uh, resourceful, more rich, um, not just, um, you could be rich physically or headed in that direction, but it's starting to show your emotional side here, your emotional maturity, as well as um, your intellect here, okay? Your logic um, and that sets for, I feel like, um, you just being, how do I say this? Because the queen of pentacles is 
a total package. This is somebody who has their shit together. Okay, let me reshuffle. That's too many. Just one spirit. And I'm going to close the reading. We're at a little over 15 minutes. All right, we got one out. Ace of Cups. There will never be another. Four of Wands. Aries like you. You're solid. It's out there. That's the word I was looking for. You solid. In so many different ways. You know, making people see life and death and um, just a different way of life here. Introducing something new that has not yet been explored. But you are damn sure exploring um, or, or at least making the decision because the Ace of Cups is something that's new. It's a new fulfillment. But it's a, a bright awakening. And, and beauty beams from within, you know. And the secret's out. It's written all over your face, collective. I'm going to leave this reading here. Four of Wands, celebrate. <laughs> Freedom is what this is, you know. Live it. I'm about to get out here, okay. Hit that like and subscribe button for more messages from me. I'll catch you guys later. Ciao.